Hello guys, welcome to the second module of Happy Milk. You're watching Zealens, your one-step solution for agricultural problems. Today we will discuss all the scientific explanations of how it, how a cow milking cow milks or a cattle milks, how the milk is produced and what type of things that happens inside a cow in the digestion of a cow, what type of things that it does. We will give every scientific explanation of that and let's for the first to understand that how happy milk does its activity we need a brief idea that how a cattle milk how a cattle produces a milk so just just stay tuned i will discuss about every details of what step by step details of its digestions and what type of digestion leads to what type of milk i will discuss it A cow, when eats something, it's some, it, if it eats grass, if it eats cellulose, it does three type of things. What it does? It does three type of digestions. The one, the number one digestion is a carbohydrate digestion. Next is a protein digestion, and third is the lipid digestion. Just keep aside this protein and lipid digestion for a side and discuss this carbohydrate digestions. For, under this carbohydrate metabolism, what it does? A cow eats and it converts in, into the feces. In between the food and the feces, there comes the digestion. Digestion of a cow goes with three steps. What it does when a food inserts into the digestion, it has four chambers. We all know it is a ruminant. The, I will not discuss about the ruminancy much, but what I will discuss is how the digestion occurs. It converts the food into volatile fatty acids. What does the microbes inside the cow, in, increases the volatile fatty acid by digestion of the food. These volatile fatty acids are butyric acid, acetic acid and propionic acid. These type of volatile fatty acids are produced inside them. And one another important thing that is produced under this microbial digestion is lactate is an important thing that is produced inside a cow's stomach. So there are several methane gases produced while this. There are produced gases like carbon dioxide, which reduces the microbial growth a bit. But to help this, we will discuss it later that how happy milk does that. But for the time being, I will discuss the digestion only. So, so what we get, what we get is a volatile fatty acid like butyric acid, acidic acid and propionic acid. And then another important component that is lactate. Particularly what, what happens, happens is this volatile fatty acids, they can convert themselves into ketone body. They convert into ketone and acetate. This ketone and acetate that comes into the liver and what comes into the liver is lactate. Lactate then again convert itself to glucose and this ketone acetate and glucose that stays inside the liver from liver the glucose ketones acetate that goes to the mammary glands particularly what mammary gland does is it takes a glucose and converts a some amount of glucose into glycerol this glycerol is stays inside the mammary glands and in ketones like ketones and acetate they convert into short fatty acids this glycerol and fatty acid they combine and form a short chain fatty acids that are very important in the milk fat and particularly what a rest amount of glucose does rest amount of glucose converts into lactose and which is a high content in the milk so what in digestion in carbohydrate metabolism what three two things are formed one is a glycerol plus fat that forms a short chain fatty acid and the next is lactose this lactose is a very important component of milk. These two things are formed in carbohydrate metabolism. Let's keep carbohydrate metabolism aside. Now discuss about the protein and the lipid metabolism. Now what happens is, uh, first I would discuss about the lipid metabolism. Lipid metabolism, it as it lipid the name suggests, it converts into long chain fatty acids. And as usual, glu glucose, it converts into glycerol. So in the mammary glands, what happens? The long chain fatty acids and glycerols, they form triacylglycerol, which is a long chain fatty acids. That long chain fats are also present in the milk. It is an important component of the milk too. Now let's discuss about the protein digestion. Protein metabolism also does a good important activity in producing a better amount of milk. What it does, it produces urea, that is the milk urea. It produces the milk protein. Protein breaks down to the amino acids, the amino acids then makes a milk protein. So milk protein and urea is produced in 
produced by protein metabolism and lipid long chain fatty acids it's are produced in lipid metabolism so ultimately what the main components of the milk we get in carbohydrate metabolism we get short chain fatty acids we get lactose in protein metabolism we get the milk urea and the milk protein and in lipid metabolism we get the long chain fatty acids so these are the important components of milk production the milk your the milk that you get from the cattle contains these elements these elements are very important elements of the milk it increases the quality of the milk it increases the quantity of the milk now we will discuss that how happy milk pushes this type of components in the milk to get in more quantity and to get in a better quantity if we will first discuss about biochar basically what biochar does we have already discussed in the first module you can see in the link is in the description we will enhance the milk quality by biochar how we will do that we will discuss it here biochar what it does we have discussed is it enhances the digestion what is digestion digestion is just we have discussed right now that digestion is the formation of lactose the amount of lactose it produces the more amount of milk it produces better amount of milk it produces so for that for the production of lactose we need to increase the microbial activity inside it so microbial activity inside a cow increases when it does a better digestion and it produces some toxic gases with toxic pesticides this is absorbed by particularly biochar biochar absorbs this it has large number of pores it is material biochar material has large number of pores it absorbs toxic gases it, abs it absorbs the toxic uh, elements inside the cow it absorbs the pesticides inside the cow that improves the better microbial activity and better production of the lactose a larger production of the lactose increases the better amount of the milk elementally main thing that happens is it decreases the methane production in the cow and increases the lactose production in the milk next important component of the happy milk is diatomaceous earth what particularly this product do this component do is it has two activities main two activity it is a natural deworming agent cows we, we do cattle farming the person who do farmers know it very better that cows have worms they do deworming diatomaceous earth it is a natural deworming it is a high silica content material it can it kills the parasite inside the cow and for killing the parasite the more nutrition gets to the cow only so the more nutrition the cow gets the more solids into the cow milk it occurs it produces more solids into the cow milk and that increases the fat percentage and the snf percentage in the cow milk next thing it does is it balances the blood pressure into the udder it balances the blood pressure into the mammary glands a larger amount of blood flow occurs in the mammary glands so the larger amount of milk is produced it gets the more liquid inside the milk and more fats inside the milk though because as we know the blood flows the diffusion occurs and the diffusion gives more amount of this lactose these fats these things that are produced inside the mammary glands so blood flow is very important diatomaceous earth increases the blood flow and it deworms the cow what does the next uh, component do prebiotic dietary fiber reagent and particularly anti inflammatory agent and it is also an anti oxidative agent it reduces this this particular product reduces the risk of mastitis it is a immuno supplement to the cow it gives an immunity to the cow it helps fight to the diseases and it is a prebiotic dietary fiber the amount of probiotic that grows inside the cow it gives food to that probiotics that increases the better performance of a cow better immunity of a cow and the last but not the least is the seaweed extract seaweed extract what it does it increases the phenolic acid activity the phenolic acid activity just increases the utilization of the energy energy utilization is very important in a cow when a energy is utilized in a proper way the conversion of the glucose is done in a proper way so conversion of the glucose as we already discussed leads to the good amount of milk and a better amount of milk so conversion of the glucose and the energy utilization both has to be go simultaneously so glucose conversion is high energy utilization becomes high these are the main comp these are the three four components of happy milk this magical product actually increases the milking quality and the quantity it gives a visible results in 10 days when feeded with normal feeding plan we need to give a more supplement to the cow this are 
small amount of supplement it, it needs around three to four gram or five to six gram per day this small amount of supplement gives a better amount of profit profit is high suppose a person who was selling a farmer who was selling a milk with a rate of 25 rupees per liter now uh, when it gets a better quality of milk a better quantity of milk the rises the price goes higher by 10 rupees see suppose 25 rupees it goes to 3 uh, 20, 35 rupees so from 20 this this 25 to 35 is a huge change when it comes to a farmer it gives a better benefit to the farmer with a very low cost investment thank you for watching the video stay tuned for every agricultural problems please like and subscribe for more videos on agricultural and disinfection problems please contact us this is our contact address please contact us for any inquiry or any product related thanks for watching